Hi everyone, I wanted to do a tour of my Blackboard site because, let's be honest, all of the instructors here at CWI have a different setup for the Blackboard. So let me walk you through how I do mine. So the first thing that you're going to come to is the announcements page. So I'll generally do at least uh, one announcement per week, more than that if need be, and I will also send it out as an email. So make sure you're checking your CWI email at least once a week. During the summer, it's better if you t uh, check it at least twice a week. So that's announcements. If we go over here, click on faculty information, you will find out all sorts of good stuff about me, including, most importantly, my email address and when I hold the office hours. Um, if these office hours don't work for you, then uh, feel free to set up an appointment with me. Over here is the syllabus and the schedule. Up at the top I have a detailed schedule. You will want to check this frequently. If I make any changes to when things are due, they're going to show up here. Now you can take a look at it this way. I find it far more useful to open up the full-sized workbook and then I can see the whole thing much more easily. Okay, going back over to here, down below we have CWI's institutional syllabus. This covers everything that is applicable for any course that you take here at CWI. And below that is the syllabus for this course and you will want to uh, take a close look at that one because it tells you how the course is going to be set up and how I'm going to grade you in fact let's go ahead and scroll down um, grading grading details this tells you all of the things that uh, all the assignments all the tests and what the points are all of that good stuff so let's move over here to assignments. Now you'll notice I do not have discussion boards or course documents. Uh, that's because I have everything in assignments in the order that you're going to do them. So don't go looking for a discussion uh, board tab. So the first thing you're going to find is, guess what, a discussion board. This one is kind of a place to ask me any question that you may have as long as it doesn't involve your personal grades. I can't discuss that with you on the discussion board where everybody can see it. Email me. But for any other question like say for example you don't understand a particular assignment you can either email me or you can post your question here and then I will post an answer. I would prefer that you post your question here because the rest of the class may have the same question they can check here on the Ask the Instructor discussion board and see the answer. So I'll be checking that um, Monday through Friday at least once a day, excepting breaks and holidays during summer semester. It's pretty much just July 4th. So I have banners that let you know about the different units. I have the course broken up into units. It's kind of what I call my storyline. So. I will let you know what each unit covers and what we'll be covering. Below that I have directions for registering for an exam. Uh, exams 1, 2, and 3 you will be taking at home on Blackboard, but the final exam will be proctored, so you will need to set up an appointment with the testing and assessment centers. And, um, and give me about a week and I'll have that information up for you. If you are not local, email me and we will set up another way to proctor that final exam. Now below that I have a study guide. I would use this as a guide to how to study. Especially since we don't have a textbook for this course per se, this guides you through what you're going to need to pick out from each topic. In other words, what I'm going to test you on. Now here's Topic number one, two, three, and four. And then we've got the banner for the next topic, the next unit. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what you would find inside the average topic. So you click on, well, to start out with, we have an outline of what you're going to learn in this topic and also some helpful hints. Let's go ahead and go into the topic itself and let's get rid of that. Over to the left here you're going to see 
a table of contents. So if you want to go through one at a time in the order that I've got it, and I've got a flow of information, one thing flows into another, you can just click on here and it'll take you through one at a time. Or say you've done this part of it, you're coming back and you want to skip down to say this one. So you click on that and it'll take you directly to where you want to go. And let's see, down here we have my grades, so you can find it here as well as on uh, the dashboard for Blackboard. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them.